Well, let's compare that then to our first ionization energy. That's the last periodic table we did. First ionization energy. All right. <clears throat> now, um, let's suppose that A and B are combining and B is not only winning the electron war, it completely blows away A. I mean, it takes those electrons and just goes away with them. So B doesn't have B has a two extra electron, and A loses an electron completely. What kind of bonding is that referring to? Um, Ionic. Okay, because then B's got an extra electron; it's negatively charged, and A has a, has lost one electron; it's positively charged. And so you've got two ions now, okay? Well, that's what first ionization energy is referring to. Ionization energy refers to removing electrons, okay? So it's, it, it's, it's something we talk about when we talk about ionic bonding. So, so either A or B is a bully, okay? I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get, at least get a chuckle out of that saying we went through all that bullying stuff today. What? Yep. <laughs> what? What did you say? What I say? Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. What's your, what's your question? You know, without trying to be too crazy or, or um, deep about the whole thing, they're all referring to the same. They're all proper. They're all behaviors are the same thing. We're just measuring them in different ways for different reasons. Okay? They're all talking about pulling in electrons. Ionization energy is when you completely pull them away. Okay? Elect electronegativity is when you only pull them enough to have them over toward your side more often. Okay. All right. Well, you can call them whatever you want. That's fine. All right. As long as it works for you and you understand, that's cool. All right. Now... <clears throat> Let's say you want to take somebody's cookies from their lunch, okay? We said that one of these two atoms has to be a bully, right? All right. Uh, you kind of got to fight them for the cookies, don't you? Huh? Depends on the cookies? Oh, they might want to give them away? Well, if it's, say it's homemade, warm, chocolate chip, Cookies. Huh? Whatever. Whatever your favorite cookies are. All right. Anyway, all right. So the point is, sometimes you pull hard, and sometimes you don't pull so hard, and sometimes you hold on hard, sometimes you don't. Okay. All right. But what what did you have to do to get those cookies away from that other person? Well, you had to do something. You had to put some energy into it to get them away, right? Well, the, no. Is rosé always that difficult? Yeah, all right. Listen. Well, let, look, look. Let's suppose that we are going to remove the electrons, like we're removing cookies, from B. All right? So we're going to take an electron from B, and we're going to take it away. Okay? It's gone. We had to fight B for that electron, right? Yes. Well, we're talking about atoms. We're not really, you know, fighting with our fists or anything, all right? We're putting energy, energy into B to get e to leave, the electron to leave. We had to use up some energy in B to get the electron to leave, okay? Got that? That's energy. That's the energy we used, and we put it into B to get it to give up that E. Okay? That's the energy from wherever. It doesn't have to come from A. It can come from the heat of a flame. It can come from electricity. It can come from a lot of places. All right, you need to pay, pay attention here. I know you don't. I got you thinking about cookies now, but you got to pay attention here. All right? So, ionization energy then is the energy required. To remove an electron
from an atom. And we're talking about first ionization energy, then it's the energy required to move only the first electron we're going to pull off the outside of the atom. Okay? So first ionization energy refers to the energy here we're putting into this atom to get B to leave. Got all that? All right, well, of course, in ionic bonding, the electron distance that go off flying into space, right? It goes somewhere. It goes to another atom. So we're going to say that's A. So the electron's going to leave B, and it's going to go to A. Well, if we had to put energy into B, if we had to put energy into B to get it to give up an electron, what happens when that electron joins up with A? Does it, do we put energy into A? Actually, the opposite has to happen. If we have to put energy in to get it to leave, to we're going to give away energy when we add one to it. Okay? So when we put this electron on A, A is going to give up some energy. Okay? A is going to give up some energy. Well, that's a different property. Well, it's very, very closely related. It's something we call the electron affinity. Electron affinity. Affinity is something that you're kind of attracted to or like. Okay? Maybe some of you have an affinity for chocolate cake. Apparently a lot of you have an affinity for chocolate chip cookies. Alright? Huh? Alright, so this is also referring to ionic bonding. Fine, whatever kind of cookies you like. Homemade peanut butter, I don't care. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's, let's refocus from the cookies and back up here, okay? So, electron affinity then is the energy that an atom gives up when it gains an electron. Yeah, that's electron affinity. So electron affinity then is when we get this electron onto the A and it gives up some energy as a result. Okay? Now typically um, we don't we don't really measure the amount of energy that, that an, ad, an individual atom gains uh, by giving up a single electron we measure them in moles of electrons. Okay? The energy given up by gaining a single electron, that's so small, it's like not even worth dealing with. So we deal with moles. You know, it's like, you know, remember what a mole is? We did that on the first, in the first unit. Yeah. How, many, how many electrons in a mole? One. One? Really? Oh, no. How many? Five. How many electrons in a mole? Uh, three. That was on the practice test for the last unit test. How many electrons in a mole? The same, same number of atoms in a mole. It's like a dozen. A dozen is the same number all the time, right? Well, the number of particles in a mole is the same all the time.
Yeah, that big number, that's right. Yeah. How many telephone numbers do you have? One, you got two numbers? Two. You got two numbers. Two. Somebody said they got 30 numbers. Uh, well, now you got three and you got 31 because you got Avogadro's number. Huh? That's Avogadro's number. Now that's just an aside right here, okay? I just wanted you to know that when we measure ionization energy and electron affinity, typically we don't measure the individual energy from a single electron. We measure it in moles of electrons, okay? Just an aside. So making sure we're kind of clear about what a mole is and that kind of stuff. We're going to celebrate Mole Day in here, okay? We're going to be celebrating Mole Day. You're going to get a chance for some extra credit, things like that. Alright, let's see, I'm looking at my calendar. I don't have my calendar here. 2012, October 23rd. Oh, that's a Tuesday. Good. Let's celebrate Mole Day on October 23rd. Put that on your calendar. Mole Day. Mole Day will be October 23rd this year. That could be a sign. Did you make this holiday up or something? No, I didn't make this holiday up. This is, this is a holiday made up by President Obama. You're right, he didn't do it. I'm just kidding. It's been around for a long, long time. It's celebrating the mole. Huh? Well, you'll get more information later on. Just put it on your calendar. October 23rd is Mole Day. Really? And it also happens to be that week around October 23rd is National Chemistry Week. No way. Okay.